Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel and today I'm making a follow video to my uh, custom sub pump uh, backup solution that I kind of put together here a few months ago. Uh, I don't know if you had a chance to view that but basically it was time to update my backup solution and I was not happy with kind of what's in the market. Uh, all the backup solutions for uh, sub pumps are very outdated and overpriced. So I did go ahead and just build my own kind of setup and I wanted to use a lithium battery versus like a traditional sealed lead acid um, so that's what I what I did but what I observed during a recent uh, rainstorm we had here is the pump just runs pretty much non-stop um, like basically every minute it was cycling and that was impartially to the floats so the floats on uh, the pumps just don't give it enough time to run. It's like, you know, the problem is, is you know, the, the, you know, my pit would fill up maybe like, I don't know, a quarter, maybe a tenth of water, and then it activates. And then, you know, runs for like, I don't know, seven seconds, and then, you know, shuts off, and then runs for another. It just, I don't know, to me it seems like a very faulty system. And then my backup solution, which... I used a uh, Z-Wave relay, it also just was not giving me confidence. Granted it wasn't being activated because the primary was doing its job, but I kind of forced activate it a couple of times just to kind of see how it would do and it did not do a good job. The relay did not work how I had hoped, um, it just did not give me the confidence to rely on it. So I decided to look for another option and I came across HydroCheck. So I ended up getting two of their products. This is the HC9000 DC backup controller. So this essentially is, what do we got here? Just some zip ties and a card. So this essentially is kind of probably what I should have gotten to begin with. This is a Z-Wave. This is basically a controller to allow you to run your uh, backup pump. So it comes with a float and a controller that allow you to basically control your DC pump not just when it runs but how long it runs so this actually I don't know how I missed this the first time I was kind of researching this but this is what you get you get a controller here this allows you to now set how long you want that backup pump to run now keeping in mind that the backup pump sits at the bottom you're gonna have a float that's a little higher than your main pump so you know, it's going to have more water to work with, so you want to have a longer runtime. So, if that wasn't cool enough, just to be able to now easily control your backup pump, you get a much more accurate type of float system. So, a traditional float that most pumps have is, you know, it's like a little styrofoam of some sort that, you know, activates on, off, on, off, right? And you've got about a, a tiny amount of travel which basically means a pump runs sh for a short amount of time very frequently which is not which is what you want don't want you want the opposite you rather have your pu your pump come on half the amount of times and run you know three times as long um, to mi minimize the on off on off on off so what this essentially lets you do is basically set your points so now instead of having a, a fixed float that only gives you you know a set amount at runtime is that you can put this as low as you want and high as you want, which will mean, you know, if you picture a side view of your uh, sump pit, you know, when the water comes here, the pump stops. When the water comes here, the pump turns on and it'll stay on until it goes back here. So now you can make it, you can make that gap big or small but what this allows you to do is set this just low enough that the pump never sucks water in so that way you always leave a little water in there you know you minimize the chance of getting airlocked uh, by not sucking in water so this lets you really kind of now control exactly how high you want the water to come up and how low you want the water to be so this is a perfect I think uh, solution for that now this also has a timer on it as well which theoretically you could use it if you want to override it, but given this intelligent float system, this may not be as necessary, but it's still a nice cool thing to have. 
to uh, control your kind of your pump's performance. Um, and of course, you got some status, some statuses here as well as far as you know your battery situation. But that's already accounted for. But very cool product. Uh, when I was researching this a few months ago, somehow I missed it. Um, but excited to actually give us a try. And then while I was looking at that, I ended up then seeing that they have some cool stuff for your main pump as well. So what I also got is the HC6000 Pro. And this kind of has, if I can get this all into the screenshot, this kind of has the same thing as well. You basically get the intelligent floats. So now you can actually control your main pump's uh, performance. So you can now specify geez now you can again same thing specify how low and how high you want the water to come which means that you can really optimize your primary pumps full performance now so you you know you're no longer locked into that like short eight second runtime whatever you get you can now run it for 20 seconds 30 seconds what I'm basically going to do is I'll let my sump pit fill up maybe three quarters of the way now. Because right now it only fills up maybe about, like I said, a quarter of the way. Maybe, I don't know, three, you know, I don't know, three tenths of the way. I don't know. But there's a lot more room for it to fill up. And the, the float just doesn't let you do that. So that's the main part that this does is you can optimize your pump a little better. Now, this is the pro version. So in addition to... There's a cheaper version of this if all you want are these kind of uh, you know, intelligent floats, but this one also will do uh, some tests. So now it can also test your pump for you. So it'll automatically conduct a test periodically to ensure your pump is always functioning. Um, it'll also alert you if your pump ever stops. So you just get some more kind of smart features built into this. So I think very cool. Uh, like I said, this is stuff that um, you, if you bought this, I mean, like Zoller and Watchdog, they sell these kind of all-in-one kits with similar features, but you're going to pay like, I don't know, six, seven hundred dollars for those things. Um, and you're, again, limited to a sealed uh, lead-acid battery, which it's 2023, you can get LiPo 6 batteries, which will last 10 years, way more power, they're deep cycle. Um, so I'm shocked that none of these companies have really allowed or taken advantage of that. So... This allows me to kind of have really all that with a lithium battery. And like I said, this thing, I think, oh my gosh, I probably should have checked before I made, started making this video, but I think this was like, I don't know, 60, I mean, all together for everything I paid like $180. I think this was on sale for, I think like 120 right now. On Amazon, it's 150, but on their website it was 120. And I think this was like 60 or something like that. But basically under, under 200, I think it was all in like 180. Um, so I think it's a pretty good deal for what you're getting here. Because um, again, you're getting the float, you're getting the smart kind of module along with it as well. Because a float alone, you'll probably spend like, you know, 30, 40 bucks on the float. Uh, here you kind of get everything. So yeah, just thought I'd do a quick unboxing. Um, you don't get a whole lot in the box here. Just get, you know, the control unit, the float, some zip ties, power cable, um, this one as well. Basically, you know, it's a DC hookup. You just get your leads for your battery, your floats, and that's it. And then, you know, you mount it as you're choosing. So, yeah, just want to do a quick unboxing. I'm really excited. I think this is really going to give me much more confidence in my, my pump backup now, having these two uh, controllers in play. Uh, so I'll get this installed, and then uh, I'll try and come back and uh, provide show you kind of it fully assembled. Okay? Thanks. Okay, so now here is pretty much my final version. So I have the hydro check now installed and it's been working awesome. So you can kind of see everything from how many cycles it's done, um, how long each cycle runs, how much your draw is. This gives you kind of an ongoing uh, data point. So I have that going essentially to a, if I can get this right here, to a, oh, what the heck do you call these things, a switch essentially. So when the city power dies, it quickly cuts over to my uh, inverter and battery. And then that powers the 
primary pump to do its job. Now, if in the event the primary pump fails, let me move some of this stuff over. If in the event the primary pump fails, then you, you can see I have the other hydro check for the backup pump. Now, these each have their own individual uh, floats. So basically, I have the backup float set higher to trigger. And then that's essentially how it runs. And then charging wise, I have just like a small charger to kind of help keep the battery healthy. I don't want to kind of charge it rapidly. And this charger is hooked up to a Z-Wave switch. So, and I have this charger basically top off the battery when there is rain. So I have a uh, Z-Wave rule essentially that checks the rain forecast and if the chances of rain tomorrow are pretty high, then I have it charge for, I think, I don't know, five or six hours uh, to kind of give it a good top off. If there is no rain forecast, then I just have a periodic two hour charge, I think like once a week, just again, keep it top off because you don't really want your battery just sitting at 100% indefinitely. I mean, the reality is, is that in the 12 years I have lived in this house, I've had the power go out maybe like an average of maybe once a year, and I've yet to ever lose power during a rainstorm. So the reality is, I'm probably not going to use this a lot, but obviously I want it there in case I need it. So I don't want my battery just sitting at 100% for years upon years. So that's kind of how I have it set up, is to kind of um, only top it off when there's rain in the forecast and there's a chance I might need it. So that's kind of essentially how it's all set up. I don't know if I can, I don't want to knock this all off, but there's nothing in there. It's just a battery and the inverter and then these, uh, the hydro check backup pump and then the main pump is right here. So this setup has been working great. I have no, no issues with it, much better than a watchdog. Um, part of me actually thought about switching it because if you look over here, I sorry, it's kind of a me my messy room here. But I do have a couple of these battery uh, backups. I got the Blue Yeti uh, AC200 Max and then the um, Delta 2. I thought about using the Delta 2 because it's on Wi-Fi and kind of keep eyes on it. So I actually had plans to replace this whole setup with this Delta 2 because it's a little cleaner, sleeker, and I can maybe monitor better. But it broke. It broke on me just sitting there. So I've lost confidence. I know. Since then, I, I did a warranty claim, and they sent me a new one, so now it works. But after it broke, um, I don't know if I want to trust it now to, you know, to handle this because it literally just broke sitting here. Um, I, I'm actually in the process of, of my next project will be to uh, set up my furnace to run off of my batteries in case there's a power outage as well. So come winter time, if power goes out, I want to be able to still run the furnace. So that's actually why I have these. I have this one and then this one because I have all my networking gear here. So I want to also be able to um, keep everything uh, keep keep everything operational should there be a power outage. So I do have these two other backups here, and the reason I have these is that when I built this. Kind of custom solution these were still kind of expensive but now these have dropped in price to the point where it's actually probably cost as much as to buy one of these and is to try to build one of these because once you add in the battery the inverter uh charger you know it's kind of you know getting up there in price as well so uh that's kind of my setup here but yeah that is how it's set up now and i think i'm going to leave it that way to be honest it's been like i've been using this now for i don't know a year at least never once any issues nothing's broken nothing's went out so i have a little more confidence in this solution than i do in using like this um uh one of these solutions particularly the uh the delta 2 because these river uh what do you call, how do you call them uh not the blue yetis but the um uh, the echo flows i've had two of them break on me now granted the warranty the first one was costco so i just returned it but i have had two of these break uh, on me just sitting idle like how you see them now just sitting waiting to be used and they just broke one day, one day I check on them and they're dead so don't have a whole lot of confidence 
the Blue Yeti, I've had this one longer. It's been working like a champ, so I'm hoping that this one will be also as dependable. But anyway, that is it for the sub pump uh, update. I don't intend to deviate from this, so this is going to be my setup now moving forward. Um, cost for this, uh, gosh, I mean, the battery is probably like 500, I think. Inverter was maybe like 200. And that's basically the brunt of it and then like you know charger is like 40 bucks the switch was probably I think like 80 bucks the floats or the hydro check i think was like a hundred or something so you know all in probably you know a little under a thousand um so it's a little pricey but this is much more uh larger battery than you'd get like you know if you get like a uh what do you call it like a watchdog system is going to run you maybe about four or five hundred but you're getting a crappy battery at half the size and a float switch that isn't as advanced as this one so highly recommend it and that's it for this video thanks